In this video, I'll walk you through adding one of the WebLive widgets to the, your Talent homepage. So to add widgets, I'm going to go to Course Admin, and then I can either click on Home Pages or Widgets. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'm actually going to go to Home Pages here, but you'll see you can access both of them from the same page. So in order to edit, add the widget, I'm going to have to edit my home page. So I'm going to check first and I'm going to see what home page is my active home page. I can see that here from this drop down menu and I can also come over here to this side and I can see which one is active with the check mark, my news and content. Now it's possible if you're using a default home page that you can't actually click on the home page that you're wanting to click on uh, to edit it. And so if that's the case, you can actually click the arrow next to one of these. So for example, this one, this is one of the default ones here at Kirkwood. I can click on this and I can click on copy. And so like I said, you may need to do this. You may need to click on copy in order to make a new copy of it. And if you do, it only takes a second. It's going to say copy. Now I can click on it and edit it if I need to. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the home page that I currently have active. I can click on it. And I can come down here and I'm going to find all my widgets. So I'm going to want to create a widget. I don't need two cat video widgets, so we'll remove that and we'll add the web live widget in its place. So I'll click on where it says add widgets. And let's just do a search here for web live. I've got one system one, two, three, and four. Um, so I'm going to say my course is on system two. So I'll select system two and I'll click add. And here I've added it here. So I'm going to save and close. Now, one last important step if you haven't done it already is you want to make sure that the home page that you just edited and added that one to is the one that's active here. Now, my for this tutorial, my home page was already active and I was already able to edit it. But if you had to make a copy at first, you're going to want to make sure that this course home page news and content copy, the copy that you made is the one that's selected here, not the original one that you copied from. So I'm going to make sure the one I want is selected and click apply. And I'm going to go back to my home page. I'm going to scroll down a little bit and see where I added that. And there it is.